Hello people, David here and welcome to BTECT. I've got another round of superb tech visuals mixed to a funky beat. If you're a regular to the channel, then welcome back. It's good to see you. Come and say hi in the comments below. I'm always around. But if you're new to the channel, then you're in for a visual treat. And it'd be great if you would hit that subscribe button, ding that notifications bell and smash that like button. Have you done that? Great. Now let's get on with my unboxing of the Nokia 5.1. This one has just been released in the UK and has an asking price of £189. There's been a few very good handsets released under the Nokia branding this year, especially within the mid-range space, most notably the Nokia 7 Plus. I've got to say, I wasn't too much of a fan at their attempt at a high-end flagship phone, the Nokia 8 Sirocco, but for the mid-range, they've got it locked. You can see my full review of both of those phones on the channel. I will also leave a link in the description if you're interested. Now let's get into the Nokia 5.1. Typical Nokia packaging and branding with this wide and flat box. Turn the box over and on the back you've got a few details about this one. Things like the aluminium unibody, 5.5 inch 18 by 9 full HD plus IPS screen, the 16 megapixel camera and 8 megapixel wide angle front facing camera. This handset also features an octa-core processor as well as running Android Oreo. So let me slide the lid off and we get a first look at the handset and I'm pleasantly surprised at how nice this looks. It has a good premium-like feel to it in the hand. Was hoping for the copper version, like on the box, but blue still looks good. And actually, only the tempered blue and black will be available in the UK. Also in the box here, all the usual stuff. A USB power brick, a standard pair of headphones, USB 2.0 cable, not the modern reversible USB Type-C unfortunately, but that's not the end of the world. Before we go on, I want to tell you about a site called Direct Mobiles. They sponsor us here at BTECT and have a great selection of the latest handsets. They also have 23 years of award-winning customer service. So check in the description below for a link to their website or search directmobiles.co.uk. This is a nice looking phone. The body is crafted from 6000 series aluminium and has a nice matte finish to it. And it won't show the fingerprints too easily either. There is Gorilla Glass protecting the screen, although they won't say what version it is. That screen is a 5.5 inch IPS LCD with 1080 by 2160 resolution and in an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. And it has a good pixel density of 439 PPI. Tucked under the front glass is an 8 megapixel selfie camera with 720p video recording and they've taken the opportunity to fill that fairly large bezel with a nice bit of Nokia branding. We've got the physical volume buttons and the power button all on the right hand side, while the SIM card and microSD expansion tray is to the left side. On the top there's a headphone jack, always good to see, and underneath there's that USB 2.0 socket and a down firing speaker. I'm really appreciating this all metal design, it has a very nice finish which blends nicely into the curved edges of the Gorilla Glass. like how the corners of the screen are rounded off too, to match the corners of the handset. It's a nice touch and overall it's a very good looking phone. Over on the back, there's a rear mounted fingerprint scanner and a 16 megapixel rear sensor with phase detection autofocus and a dual tone LED flash. Rear video is shot at 1080p and at up to 30 frames per second. Inside the Nokia 5.1, we have a 3000 mAh battery, 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of storage. You can get up to 256 gigs of storage via the micro SD card slot and all this is run by a MediaTek Helio P18 octa-core processor running at 2 GHz. Software wise, the Nokia 5.1 is running Android Oreo 8.0 straight out of the box. This is the stock version of Android, Android 1, so it will come loaded only with Google apps and comes with 3 years of monthly security updates and 2 years of operating system updates, making this a very secure phone. So far I'm very impressed with the Nokia 5.1, it's got that fantastic Nokia build quality and it's a very attractive design. Here it is compared to the slightly more expensive but very similar Samsung Galaxy A6. Looks wise it's a much prettier phone than the A6, although the A6 does have that OLED screen. These two are very similar, let me know if you think I should do a comparison between these. I have a feeling the Samsung will probably win technically, but the Nokia wins hands down for style. Stay tuned to BTECT if you want to see my full review of this phone and many other of the latest phones coming up very soon. So that's it from me. Make sure you subscribe for all the future content we have coming on this channel. We'll have all the latest phones plus a few more surprises on the way. 
I'm David Wildman and this was BTEC.